My name is Cecilia Chibiri. Um, given the current prevailing situation in our country, abductions and forced disappearances and torture must stop. This is not the first time these abductions have happened since time immemorial. It is a matter has never been accounted for and there is continuous um, violations of human rights by abductions that are done and the police are failing to even investigate a single case of abduction. I am a victim and a survivor of abductions and torture. Lucky enough for me, social media, simply because we had informed our lawyers on the day that we were arrested at Chop Route and uh, the police spokesperson had given out a statement that for sure we had been arrested. The moment our lawyers and our parents went to look for us, we were nowhere to be found. And quicker enough, the community, the Zimbabwean uh, citizens, and the uh, citizens, local and abroad, then raised, bring back our girls. That's how we're found. If we had done the same for Itai, maybe we would have Itai Zamana today. But he is still missing simply because the government has resorted to antiques of intimidation, abductions, and torture. They are in panic mode. If they have won an election, they must stop. And I'm here even to warn those ferret fans. I'm not afraid of you, and I'll continue to make sure that um, uh, we alert our citizens to not to live in perpetual fear of our own government. We are not slaves. We are not second-class citizens to our country. We should feel safe in our country. If Zanupia has won, if President uh, if Emerson Mnangagwa has won, why is he uh, resorting to means of torturing his own citizens. What happened to Honorable Takuzu Wangadzori yesterday was in plain sight for everyone to see the names that have been thrown out. Why would people stage their own affliction of pain? To those who say that it's because maybe it has never come to their doorstep. And this is not about opposition. This is about what will happen to you. Yes, the opposition will be targeted because they are the ones who the government is in panic of. But the day it also enters your household, Maybe you will understand that why you have been calling for abductions uh, and forced disappearances and torture to stop. So I'm not going to give, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to respond to, 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 to give dignity to those who say these things are changed. I've been through it up to now. Uh, it's just that I'm a strong woman and I'm very prepared. I will, I'm very alert when I move. They must just try and come. They must just try and come and they will see. I have a chip in my body. I move equipped with everything for self-defense. But what about every other citizen? Chakuzwa yesterday, if it were not, Honorable Chakuzwa Ngadzwa, if it were not for the fact that he recorded that Facebook Live, what was going to happen? You would be missing. So let's, let's rally together. Let's be united. Let's not be distracted by narratives that the same perpetrators of violence put into us to divide us as a nation. Let's call uh, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the, in the room is ruthless. The elephant in the room must go because people didn't vote for him. This is why he goes on to torture his own. And this must come to an end. We will ensure some of us, we are champions, we will continue to make sure that we encourage for peace in this country. We are not going to be made to flee from our own country because of people who are people hung, who, who are power hungry. We voted President Nelson Chamisa was voted by millions of people. If he was voted, they must go ahead and celebrate and stop torturing people. People cannot live in perpetual fear of themselves. And in my parting words, Zimbabweans, wake up Zimbabweans, start to see. Don't be divided by narratives. I am a survivor of, the, of abductions and torture. And I know what it can do to one, to, 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 to a person. There will come a time where they will stop coming for the opposition and will come for you randomly. Is that the time that you want to believe that abductions and torture actually really happen? Why would one inflict pain on themselves? We're not sociopaths. You need to see and open your eyes so that we rally together and build our nation and stop our nation being diverted by people who want to expedite their political careers. Furthermore, simply because they continue to loot on behalf of few citizens. Let's all unite as Zimbabweans and this will stop.